video is going to highlight exactly how I do this. What that is, is actually my chat displayed on my gaming window. So my gaming PC, I can read the chat. It's pretty wicked. Here's how. There's a few things that you'll need to have in your setup in order to make this happen. So the first thing you're absolutely gonna need is OBS Studio, it's quite important. You'll need any of the Elgato capture cards. Oh, and you'll need a monitor for your gaming PC. Everything we're doing right now is gonna be done on your gaming PC. So you want to have OBS Studio downloaded on your gaming PC and you wanna open it so that you're looking at this screen right here. I created a little bit of a test scene so that I can show you guys, you know, the steps that I take in order to make this happen. So the easiest way I can explain it to you is you're going to be adding sources. You'll want to slide on over to display capture and you want the Elgato as your display capture. So when you go here, you can highlight Elgato and hit OK. So you'll see you do have a selection of multiple screens. You'll know really quick which one you have if you're on the wrong one, just by what you have up on the screen at the time. I normally try to keep things up that way I know which one is the right one. So now that you have the right screen captured, you hit OK. So there you are. You have the Elgato selected. And that means whatever isn't on the screen isn't on the screen. So there we go. On to the next step, the easiest way is you'll go right to this window where you can actually see the work happening. You'll right click it. You'll choose full screen projector preview. That's the one you want. And you're gonna tell it which monitor out of the ones that you have that you want it to project to. This is my gaming monitor, so this is the one I choose. As soon as I do that, this screen is now mirrored over to my other screen. You'll know it's working when you go through it because it will immediately prompt. After that, you can start to add the things you want to see on that screen that won't show up on your stream. Keep in mind, everything we're doing is on our gaming PC, so we want OBS Studio on our gaming PC. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and add a browser source. When you're adding that source, you'll want to go here where it says URL. I'm quickly gonna show you exactly where you get the chat link so once you pull up Restream.io, the website itself, you'll see these three dots. You'll go down to the chat app and you'll see that it has embed in stream. You wanna copy that and then immediately go to your OBS studio and paste that in there. So now that it's pasted in there, boom, there's your chat box. And you can move it around just like anything else. Shape it however you want to. Too large and it'll cover up too much of the game too small and it'll be hard to read that's more up to you though there's quite a few reasons why I use the restream.io is because I really enjoy multi streaming to a lot of different platforms so that my community can be in a really comfortable place no matter what they prefer whether it's Facebook twitch or YouTube uh, restream consolidates all your chats into one so that just helps you maintain all the conversations that are going on across your platform. You got YouTube and you got Facebook, right? So this gives me, all right, everything's recording. The chat's there. Let me pull up my phones real fast. Okay, perfect. I'm live on Facebook. All right, so go ahead and get in there and shoot some messages so we can. So honestly, that's it quite simple and really easy to do but I feel like it's an unknown gem so if you didn't know about this make sure you share this video with anyone else who streams or is a content creator could find value in that and of course last but not least feel free to drop a like and a follow oh and one last thing if this doesn't work for you or something's going on reach out to me let me know I'll help you through this because this is super valuable